As a content creator or video producer, editing takes up like all of our time. Like it actually does. As a dad trying to run a video production company and put out content for my business and myself, I could never catch up on editing. Back in 2020, I started the process of finding an editor. After interviewing a couple local editors, I ended up hiring a remote editor. She lived in the Philippines and I'm putting a whole video out about hiring a remote editor, so stay tuned for that. The Philippines doesn't exactly have fast internet and is not within reach of mailing drives. So the process I use does not require a lot of internet speed, at least on the editor's end, and there doesn't need to be any kind of physical exchange of footage. So here is a basic layout of how this works, and I'll go through each step in detail later. I shoot my high resolution footage, typically 4K 10-bit Sony footage on an FX3. I ingest that footage to my NAS, my network attached storage device, and then create a new project in DaVinci Resolve. I'll add my media to Resolve, I'll create proxies, and then I will upload those proxies to Google Drive. The editor downloads those proxies and attaches them in the project. Then she edits the video. Once she's done, the video shows up for me and I can go in and make final adjustments and export. So what does all of that mean? Proxies are low resolution versions of your original large files. When you create and attach proxies, Resolve knows to use the information from your original files, such as the resolution for your timeline. When you go to export, all of the edits, color, audio, and adjustments are all applied to the original files. So you get a high quality export from an edit that was completed with low resolution files. One of my favorite things about this process is I don't have to make any concessions on the quality of footage I shoot based on what I have to share with the editor. When we make proxies, they are just much smaller, lower quality versions of our original footage. One of the other great things is no expensive equipment is needed. Now I use a local network attached storage device, but it is not necessary and you could just do this with a small portable um, SSD. So let's go ahead and break this down step by step. Once you have your footage offloaded onto your drive, go ahead and create a new DaVinci Resolve project. Now I use Blackmagic Cloud and it does make this easier, but we were using the same process before Blackmagic Cloud existed, so it will work either way. Now once your project is created, head to Project Settings, and you wanna go down and set your proxy resolution. Now we use 1 4th size and we use a file type of MP4, and then select your location. Now note this location as you will need to copy files from here later. Okay, now go ahead and ingest all of your footage. Highlight all of the files once you have them in and right click and click Create Proxies. Depending on your footage and your computer, this may take a little while. Now in Google Drive or Dropbox or whichever file transfer service you use, go ahead and create a folder for your project and create a folder inside that for your proxies. Once your proxies are finished processing, head to that proxy folder location from earlier. Now copy all of the proxy files and paste them into the folder you just created. These files will now upload, and this should be pretty quick depending on your upload speed. Now, if you're not using Blackmagic Cloud, you have one more step to complete your process. Go to your project, click File, then Export Project, and save this in your project folder location in Google Drive. Now, you just need to share this Google Drive folder with your editor. If you're using Blackmagic Cloud, your editor will need to be invited to your project library and that project will automatically show up for them. You are done, and now it's the editor's turn. First thing they need to do is download the files. Once they have everything downloaded, they need to open the project and navigate to the video files. If they're in Blackmagic Cloud, the project will automatically show up for them. If not, they will need to import that project. Now, once they open the project, all of the footage should show up red. This is correct. Resolve is trying to locate the video files based on the pathways you saved on your computer. The editor can select the folder or files right click and select relink proxy media. It is important to relink proxies as opposed to relink or replace original media because those options will change the resolution of the files and cause problems later when you go to export. In essence, all of the information stays with the original files like resolution when you create or add proxies to timelines. Now, the editor will be able to see all of the lower resolution files and can compile the edit. If they add any external assets such as music, they will need to add those to Google Drive to share back with you. If you're using Blackmagic Cloud, once they are done, all of the edits will automatically show up for you. If you sent them a project file, they can either export the project and send back or export the timeline and send back. The timeline is preferred for me because now there is no need to relink all of the original media. It should attach directly to the timeline files. Now your video is complete and you can export. Or if you have edits, 
you can just make markers on the timeline or use collaboration chat to communicate with your editor. A couple of tips. All non-video assets must exist on both machines, yours and the editor's. So fonts for lower thirds, graphics, audio only files, music, LUTs, and so on. They have to be in both places or they will not work. If you use Dropbox or Google File Stream, do not link media to the cloud folder on your computer. Copy to a hard drive and always link there. Most of the time it works fine, but when things go wrong, it's a real pain, so avoid it. Third tip, wait till the end to do color and audio effects. A lot of remote editors in foreign countries are using less powerful computers. CPU and GPU heavy effects will take a toll and really slow down their work. So do those last. Do you think this process will work for you, but don't have an editor? Check out my next video on how to hire a remote editor.